Good morning, guys. Well, actually, it is afternoon. Um, just doing a little daily vlog, a little bit of stagecoach prep in this as well. I learned from the lack of record. Can you can you pause it for like two seconds while I do the intro, please, please, Tyler? Can you pause it for two seconds? Oh, jeez. Uh, Tyler's watching a show right now. <laughs> it's a TV show. It's snowfall. But anyways, like I was saying, I learned from Coachella vlog to start this early so I'm not stressed out. But we, yeah, I'll just, I'll show you guys a couple things. But I'm getting some packages unboxed. So I want to show you guys some things because APL sent me some shoes and I'm so excited. Do you want to see my shoes? Yeah, I just love it. Ew. Can you turn off the TV? No. Thank you. Hey. Okay. All right, guys, this is a full circle moment for me because we are avid APL purchasers. Um, they're honestly like my go-to workout shoe. And I've always been lucky enough to get them on sale at Revolve, but Tyler, how many pairs of APL do you have? I have two pairs of slides. And? That's it, I don't have two. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. You are a liar, yeah, you do. You don't? Go ahead and tell me which shoes I have. And get back to me. Oh, whatever. Okay, the first ones are these slides. So pretty. I have a pair of these already, but they're white, so they got really dirty and trashed. And um, yeah, so these are stun. I went, I'm usually a six and a half, but I go up a size or half a size. So I got these in a challenge and a well coat. Love so much. Don't they look cute on my skin tone? Yeah, they do. I, like I know. Color. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Tyler has a pair of slides for in the house and then a pair out for outside of the house. You are high maintenance mans. Yes, sir. Okay. The second one, these are the Tech Loom Breeze. I have a pair of these already. I got them on sale at Revolve. They're the they're all white with like these neutral marble gums anyways so these are so comfortable i use them to work out i do crossfit i run like it's a very versatile shoe and at first i got a six and a half in these and they were so tight i think because it's like kind of a stretchy so i would definitely go up half like for sure i think so that's just my opinion you don't have to listen to me all right, the last ones are, didn't you say you wanted to try these, the streamlines? The runners? Yeah. 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 So, I got the brown color. I realized I don't have any brown shoes. So I was like, this could be cool. I feel like this could be a good Disneyland shoe, huh? Like um, a cute, like active wear. I think any, any APL shoe would be a good Disneyland That is shoe. very true. Um, I also got a seven in these, but I don't know how they're gonna fit. So let's see. Oh, they're really comfy. They feel like they feel like boats because it's like so. Feel like what? Like a boat for my a shoe. Boat. So I feel like I actually could have gone with maybe a six and a half in these. There's, uh, I mean, no, maybe when I wear socks, I think I should be fine. So no, these are really light. These are comfy. These are really comfy. I can see definitely see why these are good runners because you're like forced to go, you know? Mm. These are cute. I like them. They are truly worth the investment, you guys. But again, if you can find them on sale like I do, get them on sale. But still, once you start, it's like definitely an addiction. And I never wanted to invest in them initially because I'm just like, no, like I like my Nikes and blah, 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 but no. Truly such a big fan of APLs. I'm going to get ready for the gym soon. I just posted it to my stories, but I had a moment where I kind of just found myself complaining a little bit. And I feel like when it comes to being an influencer, I feel like people think it's a joke when we complain about work and stress and they kind of just write us off and say 
oh, well, all you do is show clothes and post things and quick stories on Instagram. Like what's so stressful about your job, you know? And so it's kind of, I don't know, in a sense, prevented me from complaining, which is great because I do feel that people who complain a lot, it's not fun to hear and to listen to. However, I'm also in times of stress, I'm allowed to feel stressed out, overwhelmed. And it's just funny because even at my work peak where I was going to grad school, I was working a part-time job in sports, which is actually a lot of hours, especially in baseball because it's crazy hours a long season and then still doing three to four internships in between driving everywhere all the time I feel like I work way more now than I did back then and so I think just with festival season I have been really overwhelmed because I just have so much pressure to make sure that the outfits are on point and the content is on point and just staying relevant, which I know sounds so silly, but at the same time, it's just kind of the nature of our industry. So I had this, I just, I'm much better at writing down my thoughts and articulating them that way. So I'm just gonna read to you kind of my little moment in epiphany I just had about complaining. Random thoughts of about complaining. I found myself this past week com complaining quite a bit about stress, work, and being overwhelmed, especially with the pressure to nail my festival looks, content, etc. However, I really had to check myself and my outlook and attitude and think, why am I wasting so much energy on complaining? For me, complaining sucks way more out of me than anything. And if I just change my attitude and outlook, I can easily take some of that lost energy back. Now, while one person's complaints may sound silly to another, I still believe that everyone's feelings, no matter who they are or what age they are, are still valid. Sometimes I'll listen to people's complaints and think that they sound a little silly, but I also have to remember that their feelings are subjective and relative to where they are in life and what they have or have not experienced. And thus, I have no right to have any opinion on how they feel. I had a brief moment just now where I sat down and realized that the very things that I was complaining about are the same things that my three years ago self would have killed to have the opportunity to have and to do. I reminded myself to celebrate my small wins and instead of letting, letting the negative stress and thoughts overtake my being and suck energy out of me, I had to calm myself down, remind myself that everything was going to be okay and not lose sleep over thoughts and scenarios that probably won't even happen. Obviously, I'm still allowed to feel how I feel. However, as I get older, recognizing where the stress comes from and being able to stop them and flip those feelings, if possible, has really helped me get through my stressful situations quicker than before. Just kind of now, I was going through emails and just kind of going through my timeline and my checklist, I started getting overwhelmed again. And then I literally stopped and was like, Jess, no, we are literally not doing this. Yes, it may seem overwhelming, but let's just, just flip the attitude. I was like, no, I am so grateful that I can do these things. And instantly, instead of being like, oh, I have to do things, it became an attitude of, I get to do these things. And I think that's so important, especially as we get older, the ability to be self-aware, to flip those emotions, just life and cruising through situations becomes so much easier. I never want to be a victim and I don't like having victim mentality, but sometimes I forget to allow myself the grace to have that buffer time to switch over. So I think that's kind of, that was my aha moment literally 20 minutes ago after the APL unboxing between then and now 
Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys and just praying to like praying that I just have calmness and clarity of mind, um, is also very important in kind of like my routine with dealing with things. So that is all. Okay. So while we were working out, the workers started coming and taking out all of the trees because we're going to start prepping the land for the ADU. But Tyler said that these markers are going to indicate the pool. This is really big. Well, I'm kind of nervous. That, that is a lot of water. Ay, yay, yay, yay. Are you sure we shouldn't make it smaller? Are you sure we shouldn't make the pool smaller? Is it too late? We can't make it a tiny bit smaller. Is it? Is that? Is that going to affect? That is, that is city planning. Yes. So even if we were like, okay, we want to put it in doesn't like matter. three you have to feet. Resubmit. Nope, doesn't matter. You have to resubmit everything to the city. What are they going to the, come? Come with a city. tape measure and like measure out our pool to make sure it's the perfect specs. You take care of it. I've done it all this time. Wait, okay, can we text him though? Nope. This end of the pool will kind of be like a dome shape. Holy sh... Tyler, this makes me nervous. I'm not even joking. Well, the stakes are there for a reason, but I... I don't ever recall making the pool this wide. I feel like... Because this is... This stake is so close to here. I feel like here is like maybe where it starts. We have like a buffer space. This is probably just, might be just like, I don't know. Like this makes like, more sense. This to that, that other white line over there. Well, there's two the white corners over there. Okay, I think that's the pool. I don't think the stakes are the pool. That is, that's like probably an like Olympic this, sized pool. That's the surrounding area. What does this say? Do dig, dig, alert, major dig, alert, dig, alert, major dig, alert. Okay, let's go get your cowboy hats. Okay. Okay. Because that's the only way I can get you to talk to me without you actually being on your phone is that we have to put a kit. Stupid. All right, guys, we are on the way to go I cowboy think, shopping. I think this is like, could be our first stagecoach vlog for the trip. Yeah, I already entered that. You're late. When'd you do that? This afternoon when you were watching Snowfall and it made you mute it and pause it. What did, but what did you say? I said this is gonna be like intro to stagecoach prep. Like your APL shoes? That was just part of the vlog. We're gonna have a few. No, APL shoes do not count as stagecoach Oh my God. Vlog. No, Stagecoach will be its own vlog. The prep for it will be prior to. And I'm gonna go over some outfits tonight. All right, this is already information that these people have heard. I don't wanna repeat myself. We're on our way down to a store called El Vaquero. We are going because me and a bunch of my buddies that are going to Stagecoach with obviously our wives or girls. Um, we have themed outfit days, and it's gonna be pretty dope. But Wait, tell them the theme. I'm going to. Let me just talk. It doesn't have I to wish be. I had something that just I could tell them. I can mount to. this camera to. Yeah, you should. Kind of hurts. Anyways, my heart. so we have theme days for the dudes, and we're gonna look pretty ridiculous. However, these my cowboy. Costume, I shouldn't say costume, my outfit, my cowboy outfit. I'm looking to look dope. So I know they have a bunch of like shirts out there. And I'm thinking assless traps. I'm thinking not. <laughs> Definitely need a cowboy hat because I don't have one. And I love the black cowboy hats. I, I love black and stuff. And I need boots. And I don't like the pointy, the pointy boots. I think I just can't do the pointy boots. It's not my style. I well, like the I more like guys, I like the more squared off. Guys type. usually wear square so, toed. I think girls is more the pointy. Well, no, that's not true. Not true. Not always, but I think the I just think the pointy ones just not. I just don't think they're a good look on me. 
Okay, tell them the other themes because they're so funny. All right, so the other themes that we're doing, we're doing NASCAR fit. Oh my goodness. Yeah, baby. Wrestling mania or WrestleMania, just super fans. And then dad fit. Yep. Wait, when's Cowboy Day? Cowboy Day. Oh, okay. So, so I meant so Cowboy four? Day too. Yeah, we have four fits. But like, what? When are you? What are you wearing to coach or stagecoach? We'll probably wear one of those fits just around the house at one point and just hang out, and then totally change. You guys go should go stuff. golfing in the NASCAR outfits. No, that'll be definitely a, de a stagecoach fit. Okay, okay. It'll be a NASCAR fit. Uh, but so NASCAR fit for all you NASCAR fans out there, because I know all of you are. Anyways, Jeff Gordon, OG NASCAR, used to have a, used to be called the Rainbow Warrior. He used to drive the Chevy DuPont. Tyler, 24. I don't think any of I'm my audience cares I'm about explaining. Jeff Gordon. I am explaining. Oh my God. So I got the total Jeff Gordon hat. I got the vintage Jeff Gordon t-shirt. Oh baby. You better believe it. I'm gonna be looking like a Jeff Gordon super fan out there. It's gonna be ridiculous. And then WrestleMania, I got like this vintage uh, The Undertaker. I forget who the other guys on. I forgot who it was. It was like The Undertaker, and uh, it's like a like a collab shirt. It's pretty sick. The Dad Fit, oh my lord. It's a Big Dogs T-shirt. So bad. With the inflation gas prices on the backside. I have Wrangler jean cargo shorts with white and navy Nike Monarchs with high white crew tube socks. Do you, did yeah. they send you photos of their outfits yet? Yeah. They did? Yeah, some of them. Oh, I mean, Brennan. Of course. Brennan's Brennan, been ready Brennan's, to rock for like the last six months. Who's, uh, whose idea was all of this? Uh, that I know of, I'm pretty sure it was Brennan's initiation. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so we'll still be fine. I mean, right. I'm excited. It should be a good time. Here it is. <laughs> this place is definitely no joke for sure. Hold on to the hand of self-destruction. We've now moved on to hats. Yeah, that looks way better. You see what I mean by yeah. this can't be it's too long. Too, too, like, yeah, this then, actually like fits like the way. And it's shirt time. Ninety bucks. Jeez, I feel like you can get some on Amazon. Did you lo try looking at Amazon? I feel like you should try to look at Amazon. 90 bucks for you to just cut off the sleeves and sweat in for one time use seems a little excessive. <gasps> Where's our little baby? There she is. Hi, Mama. Now she's alert. So our car has dog mode. I'm sure you guys know that about Tesla already. So the car is automatically set to that temperature and it's nice and cool for them. Hi, mamas. Good morning. It is now the next day. Um, I'm gonna show you guys something really funny. So our couch is a whole mess. Last night, Nolly was really restless. She kept walking around and I also couldn't sleep. So we decided to just have a big family slumber party and sleep on the couch. And if you guys, here we really just wanted this huge wide couch literally for actual sleeping purposes not to sleep at night but for naps and it is truly the best like it's so wide and I fell asleep right away my mom always taught me that if you can't sleep or fall asleep either change the direction of how you're sleeping so sometimes I'll flip and reverse 
or not reverse, but where my feet usually go, I will put my head and you know, so I'll literally like turn around on the bed or I'll go to another room or I'll sleep on the couch and I literally fall asleep instantly. I don't know what it is, but just a little tip. Um, yeah, so anyways, today Tyler just went to work out. I'll probably work out later tonight. Um, I have some work to catch up on, but I wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of potential stagecoach outfits. Um, I'm not gonna try them on yet because not everything is here. But yeah, I'll just kind of give you guys the gist and then show you guys some pictures and some like inspo of what I wanna do. Here is the first one. So this set is from Princess Polly. It is by Jagger and Stone. This is a very maybe. I'm not sure if I wanna do it or not, um, but yeah, that's an option. The second one is this pleather set from Tiger Mist. This looks so hot on, guys, love it. So this is like a for sure. And then with all the blacks, I'm just gonna be using the black Dolce Vita boots and my Stetson black hat. And then this I actually bought for Coachella, but it didn't come in time. I also bought this like a month before. So this is from Seta Apparel. They're based out of Miami. I've actually been following this brand for literal years. Um, their founder is so cool. Um, I would say like three to four years. Like I'm very into kind of that military, like hard wear whole vibe. And then this with, oh, also duh, I'm not just gonna wear this. I will probably do high-waisted black bikini bottoms. And then either this bra that I've had for a long time, this is from Mango, or the original look was this, this, the black swim bottoms and boots, but yeah, we'll see. I don't know if I wanna do all black or just like do a wife beater. So that was going to be my Coachella outfit, but we are now bringing it into Stagecoach. And then I got these cute little gloves from Princess Polly as well also for Coachella, didn't use. So we'll see if I can tie them in. It might be too much and a little too hot, but whatever. And then my other beloved Dolce Vita, Dolce Vita boots. And then, so there's these shorts on Forward. The brand was Area, and they had like fur trimming on the border, but they're so expensive. So Julia actually had her friend Steph make them. Initially, I got these off of Amazon, but they are too wimpy. Like they're just very thin. So Tyler and I are going to go to LA District, Fashion District today and check out one of the feather stores and get just some like nice ostrich feathers. Hopefully they're poofier. And then I also bought a um, blue denim top, also was gonna use it for Coachella, but it just didn't match with anything. I can't find it right now, but it was on the pricier side, but it's just so freaking cute. And because like, I'm not spending much money on the rest of the outfit, because I already have everything, um, I was like, let's just splurge on the top, because yeah, everything else that I've bought for Stagecoach is very affordable. Um, except for the chain belt from Seta, but I've tried to DIY that before and it's just so hard and that's just a super like really cool piece that I can have forever and can kind of wear with like various costumes and what up, what not. So I was like, I'll splurge. So really it was just those two items, everything else super affordable and um, the boots obviously we didn't have to pay for because we are going with Dolce Vita. And yeah, so that's it. We also have a welcome dinner uh, Thursday night and my outfits, um, I got some stuff off of Beginning Boutique, really cute. Let me pull up my order actually. Hopefully you guys can see this is the best I could do. I obviously supported Delaney and used her code. So I wanted this blue set, but the top was sold out, so. I just got the skirt, so I don't know if that's gonna work. And then they had this really cute lilac set, top and long skirt, this blue cutout dress, and then this green dress as well. So we'll see 
how they turn out. Tyler's taking abnormally long, so I'm just gonna go and do some cardio right now. In the meantime, I'll probably lift later. This is the outfit, super old Forever 21 ribbed tank, and then my Free People running workout shorts that I own a million colors in, have been wearing since pandemic, like literally some of my favorite shorts. And then we have the new APLs on. I am gonna run in these, so pretty much gonna break them in. Wish me luck. Okay, I'm back. Getting dressed right now. Wearing this set active, my highlighter sports bra. I posted about this, I think first in my Montecito vlog. And then these Moto Rocks blue swishy pants. I wore the green version of them to Coachella with my top that broke six times. I swear, when I was editing that vlog, I had mentioned about 700 times that my, my top broke six times and we're like, I was like, Jess, we get it. Your top broke, shut up. All right, shoes. Don't really know what shoes I want to wear. I have a couple options. First one are my Ambush Dunks. You should wear that hat, it matches. I'm going to, that's why I put it on. No. What shoes should I wear? My Ambush Dunks. Or my new ones is. I feel like Ambush look cooler, huh? Yeah, why are, yeah. You, why are you wearing like genie pants? G genie pants, these are cool. I wore these to Coachella. No. You didn't notice? Did you even see my Coachella posts? All I did. You look like a genie. Oh, you're such a dick. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go with the ion bushes. Oh, these are dusty. Hey, Mama. We're gonna go find some feathers so I can make my pants or my shorts so that I can be cute for stagecoach. Okay, this is cute. This is a vibe. Now we need a jacket because it's freezing tits outside for literally no reason. It was pouring rain this morning and last night. We're like, why? Do we like this vibe? I feel like this is cute. <sighs> yeah, this is cute, right? I like it. I like it a lot. All right. And sunglasses, we go sporty vibes. I feel like we'll go sporty vibes. And then maybe, My little Gucci. Is that cute? Nolly, do you like my outfit? Do you like it? Yeah, this is the vibe. All right, guys, we're off to LA. Nolly, come on, let's go. NVM, I changed my sunglasses to a little cat eye. I feel like the outfit just need a little bit more pointy flariness. So, the feather place is what I found on Yelp. Hi, mamas. Hello, sweet girl. Right here. Here we are. So, here we are. I don't have too much of the colors, so we're gonna see and work with what we got. It's a little bit creamier. Okay, that's I mean that's pretty. But the material itself is actually I think it's really pretty. Cause um some of these other ones are a little short. Like that's really short. Yeah. You know, and see that's pretty. I love that it's very like full. I have a sil the silver. Oh my god, stunning. That's yeah. But is that too much or do you no, like the way that I pops love, it out? I love that. That's like actually what I, you, I want. What you're looking for. Yeah. 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 So there's that one. That's the silver. How would I attach this so I can just sew it? You would or? just sew through the cotton cord. And I would honestly like, you see how the grain of it kind of like. Yeah. You know, like so, I would do it away, going away from the coochie. So it falls. Yeah, but just see how like it falls this way, yes, as opposed to falling into the uh, oh, center of the looks, leg. It pulls like yeah. Attention. Also, also, you know, you don't want these hairs to kind of like get all like mangled up in your, yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Handstand. 
Sure. We are home now, and I ended up going with this color. It's, oh, Nolly's choking. It's kind of this cloudy grayish blue. I almost went with the ivory, but I kind of wanted it to be an all blue outfit and then have the white boots pop. And then I'm also going to wear this super cool like diamond rhinestone choker. Um, so yeah, so we're probably gonna do a little bit arts and crafts. I need to find a little sewing kit. Now we are going to make dinner. It's gonna be a seafood night. We're gonna make tilapia and scallops. I'm just kind of cleaning out the fridge so it's not gonna be a pretty dinner. It's just kind of a mosh podge of getting rid of what we have before we leave again so the food doesn't spoil. This is the not cute at all final result. So the base is cauliflower rice and green peas, scallops, and then I just kind of mashed up all the fish. And of course, a glass of wine. Ooh, safe? Out. The Zimmerman, wasn't he on another team? Nope. Oh, different Zimmerman then. Geez, there's a lot of Zimmermans in baseball. Dear Lord, thank you for this meal. Blessed Lord, I'm in your name. Oh, man. Mm. No. I love scallops so much. You guys, I made an appointment for myself to do a spray tan. Is your first spray tan? How? I don't know. Come on, Jess. I'm a little nervous. I don't want to look like the hot sauce in my bowl. You don't want to look like Ross from Friends. I always think of that when I think of spray tans. Guys are friends. Fans of Friends. The episode of Ross when he gets a spray tan. And he says, which one is it? Which one is it? And he sprays his face like five times too much. It's like my fear right now for next week, and I really don't want that happening to me. Someone's coming to the house. They're not. They're not. No. Yes, I am. You're fine. I know, and it sounds like it's like a. It's called. It's called bronze beauty. Yeah. I'm gonna beautify the color of my skin next week, so I don't look so pale white. Tyler used to tan really well, but he doesn't tan anymore. He just gets really red. Yeah, in older age, I just, I don't know. I love seeing Erica on TV. I'm so happy that she's doing well. Well, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here so we can edit it and get it up manana. See ya. Tomorrow I am going to the Kings game with Toyota and this it's kind fun. of, Actually, like a oh full circle moment for me because the exact oh, experience the exact experience and like everything that we are doing on the agenda is what i used to do while i was at king's when i worked for them like my clients would be those people and now i am on the other side and so it's just gonna be really funny um hopefully i get to see old co-workers and I'm taking Ash with me because she literally lives right down the street. Ash Bagash. Ash Bagash. I haven't hung out with her one-on-one -on -one in a long time, so we're taking her. It'll be fun too because it's against the Ducks, so yeah, it'll be a good game. All right, well, see you later.